Hi people and it's Minecraft Season 5, yes, it's not a proper episode, this is a tour, I said I would do a tour and I'm going to do one, so, where better place to start off when whereabouts near where I spawned, it was around here somewhere I spawned, day one, October the 1st, last year, that's when I started Season 5, yes, we started around here, oh I could just sort of remember it now, just spawning in this world, seeing what's up. Oh yes, and my first ever crafting bench is still here somewhere. Where is it? I saw it a minute ago before we started. Ah, there it is! My first ever crafting bench, because you know when you start you want a crafting bench. Ah yes. So early days was... well we did move into the village pretty soon. Now this mount here, you may be thinking what the hell is this? Well this is when I had the elemental creepers on, and they actually had a creeper that turned like the earth upside down. So basically all the land got pulled out from under there and made it like this. And I just kept it. So that was pretty cool. That was an early day thing. Also, one I think it was like episode 1, 2 or 3, I was mining. So because you need to get materials, and I was mining in this little area here. Yep, I went into this cave and mined pretty... Pretty ancient episode there. That's like probably October 1st or 2nd because early days. Ah, there's loads of cobwebs. And there's the volcano which I mined a lot of basalt from. Yes. Ah, great stuff. And this is must be where a creeper exploded. Yes. Alright, so we moved into the village. I don't think any structure remains from the village. This actually was an NPC village. I deleted every house and made test certificates that own house. So one of the early things I did, of course, is build my house. And it's a two-story house. It's pretty much stayed the same ever since. I mean, I replaced the windows and stuff, put furniture in. Pretty cool. Oh, God, smooth lighting's off. Why? Why smooth lighting? Why you do this for this tour video? So, yeah, we come to my house. I can't remember when I put this in. Like, I think when I had Foundcraft 3 installed, I found some of these blocks and just put them outside my house. Don't know why. But anyway, tour of my house. So as you come in, we got our carpet, which was a pretty recent episode, as well as the decor. I think the bed's been there for, like, all the episodes, nearly, anyway. So... There used to be a crafting... I mean a crafting table. There used to be a enchanting table here that was only moved out towards the end. Let's go upstairs. Let's have a look upstairs. So up here. This used to be a lot more mess. There used to be like wires going all across here and stuff. But we did a lot of stuff here. Look, we've got a bee stuff in here. There's a lot of bee stuff. we got a centrifuge which is used for beekeeping as well. A uh, carpenter which is vital for forestry. Same with that. And a rolling machine. We made some like metal posts and stuff. We also made the uh, the tank things out there using the rolling machine. And of course our usual setup. You've got to have a macerator and a furnace, you know. Typical IC2 setup. And round the back here, we've got a centrifuge extractor here to get lots of rubber. And of course we have our MFSU on the roof. We have an electrolyzer which we barely ever used ever. We would, I think we used it to make, is it to make this, the extractor, or was it to make the thing downstairs? I'm not sure. And this is going like that. So, yeah. We also have a portal here which goes, well, to this area. Which is somewhere we'll take a look at soon. So yeah, here I made it so things come in, ores come in through here. They go into the chest. They get extracted through here. They get macerated. Then they get sent to the furnace. And then they get teleported back out again. Straight into the same system that teleported them here. Yes. A sorting system. We'll even look at that soon. So over here we got some storage. There used to be crystal chests here. But I decided to put them diamond chests. Because, you know, the seafood chests do increase latency a bit. So let's have a look in here. We've got lots of just general piping and like tubes in here. And here we've got loads of seeds, just random stuff like never chittens and 
Sky amulets. In here we've just got some more general stuff. We've got soul shards in here. Some wool. Some tools. In here it's got a lot of bows. And just some more general stuff. Yes, it's not very well organised. But oh well. Of course we've got, got a project table. Pretty good from Red Power 2. We didn't have this for a long time. Because Red Power 2 didn't come out until... Ooh, I don't know. It might have even been like 50 episodes in before we got Red Power 2. And a soul forge to make soul shards because you can't make spawners. They're lovely. And of course we have the roof. We only ever made two medium voltage solar arrays. We could have made done a lot more, but I know our power is going pretty good. We still have a generator up here from the early days, and we have maximum power. So yeah, that's pretty much the inside of the house. There is. The basement section, which I'm going to show you now. Ah, uh, just... I just... This is probably the, going to be the last time I ever go on this world, to be honest. So down here, this was... Originally, like, a mistcraft room. It had, like, lots of mistcraft stuff in there. It still does have a lot of mistcraft books on its shelves. It also had... Once I got Bibliocraft installed, we made it look a lot nicer. We still got, like, this and the binder. And uh, we've got the armor stands there. And loads of enchanted books in there. We moved this downstairs recently. I talked about that before, the enchantment table. And we've got lots of like tall racks and display cases to display items of interest like a portal gun, our diamond drill, which we don't need anymore, our wand thing we got from the lich, our chainsaw, our, butt, our crossbow, and various swords and pickaxes that I use at some point in the series so let's head down down here ah we have our oil which, which is not got a refinery here because this is the world before I used the ICBM mod so this is like the episode 142 world not the 143 world so yeah early on in the season there was actually oil near the village and I pumped it in here there used to be an actual loads of these pipes going across the village coming into here ah but this oil remained here until the last episode yep ah my recycling system so things get teleported in here basically all cobblestone and dirt from the sorting system gets teleported in here gets recycled into scraps We've got the power coming down uh, yes there's every, things getting piped out comes round here, all the way through here, and into our mass fabricator, which then like, turns it into UU matter. Look how much UU matter we had to spare. Quite a lot. Also in here we have the singularity compressor, which is the thing I was trying to remember before. This is to make... this. We use this uh, not too much, but it's kind of a useful thing to have. And I moved this down here. This this engine is providing power to the quarry and it used to be just uh, on the floor, my second floor of my house but I moved it down here in recent times so in this big room which was actually part of a quarry yes there was my first quarry was here and underground if you go below here is a massive hole but I've kind of like paved it over so Oh no, my. Yeah, because this is the 142 world, I don't have my upgraded things here. Maybe I. Yeah. Damn it, I didn't think about that, did I? I should have saved it before. Oh man. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling there. So, in here, we've got a massive iron tank of lava. Basically, our cart comes from the nether, supplies some lava to this machine, stores a lot of lava. And then it gets pumped out into our geothermal generators to generate power, which is in turn used for our mass fabricator. Now, we could have used a lot more geothermal generators, but whatever, really. It did the job. We got a lot of UU matter in the end. And, of course, the train goes to the never. I'm not sure why it hasn't come back yet. Because of a zombie. Screw you, zombie. Alright, keep going. You can give us that power. Yep. 
This is actually the second location where we get in lava from, but you can see down there, wow, if we, oh, this is where, now where we're getting lava from, this place. This is quite the way out of the way now. Quite the way out of the way? What am I talking about? And why the hell did I not cover this up? If a guy shoots that, that's game over from, yes. The original place was over here. You can see where it's drained lava before. It's got like ripples in the lava. Yes, we drained all this lava out using pumps. Screw you, Gast! It's time to die! Ah. And over here is the... I like how we've just ran... Why is there a baby milkman in the nether? Well, a baby Barry is in the nether. <laughs> wouldn't, be a, uh, wouldn't be a Minecraft tour without bloody milkman. So this is pretty much a home nether fortress. We spent some time here. This is where where our original pump was. Our original entry point to the never wasn't here though, I don't think. Why is there a bloody thing jumping in here? Wow. Not really much to show the never side of things. Anyway, I should head back to the where I come in because I haven't finished the tour in that bit. Why have I just randomly gone into the never bit of tour? I'm such a nub. Yes, I am. I know people hate it when I say that, but I am. I'm a nub. I'm the king of the nubs. Let me in here. Oh, no. I don't want to go in the lava. I want to go up here. Okay. Through. Back to the basement. Alright. Time to show you these off. These were my mob, like, trap things. So this was the skeleton one. This is a tier 5 skeleton spawn, a part of the soul shards mod. And if I turn this on, skeletons will spawn like mad. And then we'll go down there and drop into the doom. Same with this one. This is a zombie one. If I turn this on. They all drop down. Get off. And basically, I stand in here. The reason why there's water in here because things set me on fire. But although infernal mobs really makes these mob spawners a bit di more difficult. Just the infernal mob stuff. I, I love it. But it's kind of annoying when you want to like just farm some XP and stuff and you're just getting like bombarded by like mobs that like, set you on fire and like put you on webs and stuff. It's kind of random. So yeah, these are the spawners. There's a skeleton one. And this is my quarry. May as well show you a place I haven't been for a while, which was my mining system. Like, before I started quarrying, I used to like dig in lanes. There actually used to be some zombie spawners here, which I use, got with my portal gun. Yeah, so basically in every direction here I've mined for a while. Why is there a random dirt block here? No random dirt block. So yeah, there was a lot of mining that went on down here with my mining laser, with just pickaxes, the diamond drill, lots of different directions you can go for mining. And I think that... That's just the house door. Wow, this can be a long video. But it this deserves a long video. Let's sleep in the bed. Yes. Get to sleep in the bed again. Day 749. Ah. This world has been going for so long. <laughs> All right. So, let's go to the barn. Barn was one of the early projects here. And this is just a place to store sheep, cows and pigs and chickens and it worked I mean the interior design is not much to look at really but we had our cows we had our sheep and we have our pigs I made like a, a different thing for the chickens where the eggs drop down and an obsidian pipe takes them to the storage here but of course they're maxed out so I've got like so many eggs anyway so this is the barn good old barn from quite early episodes I was building this. Now here we got our tanks. This is creosol oil, this is biomass and this is water. The water just generally came from this aqueous accumulator. There used to be a pump and stuff here as well. Uh, we've got stuff being teleported out like the water's getting teleported places. Pretty cool. 
The biomass I never really used for anything. Creosote oil I did use for some, for some railcraft stuff. For like... Uh, sort of tracks I needed. Like the boarding tracks and things like that. But we're never going to use this much creosote oil. And here's our coke ovens. They've got actually quite a lot of cold coke in. And a good mention here to this. To my sticky resin farm. Yes, I grew lots of trees, took down the leaves, and started farming the sticky resin. Amazing. Yep. I love it. We needed a lot of rubber off this place. So, over here, this is part start of the storage system. Yes, let's talk about this next. So, let's go to the other world. So, my quarry. This is not my first quarry, nor my second quarry. It's my third quarry. So out here we just have for Cory just getting resources. Our first world we actually moved to here because certain ores weren't spawning because I messed up some config files at some point. So some of the ores were missing in the other world. So, but it seems this world is not very good either. It just has like a load of copper and tin and coal. I don't see any iron at all. Is there any iron? I don't think there's any iron at all in this place. Maybe it's just too high in the flat world. Maybe you have to be below 64. Maybe. Find it. I guess we'll never find out. Uh, so, that, yeah, my quarry. There's a chocobo in here. God damn it, chocobo. And there's loads of wisps. So, yeah, my quarry's still wor actually working. Awesome. And this has been the same place though, like, the trucks come here and they deliver the goods, they deliver the stone and stuff. And I mean the carts, not the tracks. Ah, this thing. The sorting system wasn't actually really born until we had red power installed because we needed, like, the, the tubes and stuff to make it sort good. So down here is my sorting system. So basically stuff comes from the other world, the quarry, gets put into the diamond chest up there and comes down here, gets stored in this large chest. Now this large chest actually has another input. This comes from my house after they've been turned in, the ores have been turned into bars. And then everything that comes in here goes through this. It either goes down the white thing, if it's the stuff that needs to get put into the barrels up the top. Or it comes into here if it's ores. Or it comes into here if it's cobblestone or dirt. And this stuff this stuff goes all the way to the recycling system. And this goes to my house. Like, at least when it's activated anyway. Let's head on up here. Like in our sorting system. So our sorting system has a lot of barrels in it. Uh, it's pretty amazing. The amount of stuff we've got stored in there. We've got many stacks of different things. Only one stack of diamonds. But we have many different things stored in here. And I've used this place a lot. And of course honorable mention to the shutter mod. Yes. Shutter mod's awesome. I could have done some more with this I guess. Make this building look better. But I could have done the same with all the stuff to make it look better. But never mind. So we're going into the PFC now. PFC, ah yes. Peat fried chicken was a thing that was mentioned in season four, I think. And I just actually just made it in season five. So PFC, I even did a Minecraft short on this. So if you've never seen my Minecraft short on PFC, look on my channel for a PFC commercial and you will see the amazingness. It's like the cinema one I did a while back, but was before that. So this place was made just, it's just pretty much made out of wood, but I used the jammy furniture mod and the barbecue mod to add some stuff into in to the insides. Pretty awesome. And got the PFC sign on the roof. Awesome. So what else we've got to show you? Uh, may as well show you the farms, the multi-block farms. During the season, like forestry update to add multi-block farms. There were, before that, there was like the old farms here, the big square ones, but 
I upgraded to the multi-block farms as pretty much early as I could because the multi-block farms are pretty sweet. Of course, this one was the peat bog one. This one just gave me very many like carrots. It gave me lots of never warts, some some wheat, and it actually never did anything with mushrooms because I think this has to be in dark. I think you have to be in the dark for these to actually work. So this, I never actually did anything for the mushrooms. Over here we have our bees. A lot of people didn't like the bees, but I enjoyed doing it. We've made it to diamond bees, people. Look at that. Diamond bees. Are you going to get to do another generation? Have I lost the queen? What the hell? I lost the diamond queen. That sucks. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, we lost the queen. Yeah. Most of these are just pure bees. No, we've got our industrious. Pretty amazing. And in here is our like where we've done all our genetics, our bee storage. And it's actually made in the shape of a I tried to make it in the shape of one section of a honeycomb anyway. Ah over here. This is where we launched our missile from. Yes. You all remember that. It was the last episode. Some random trees here. I found some random saplings in a chest once and I just planted them. I could have tree breeded, but meh. I couldn't be bothered in the end. Ah, uh, oh, a decking. We, we spent an episode making some decking outside. So we had like a barbecue area, some music playing and a place to sit. Uh, over here are our blacksmiths. This is where we did our... Alloy furnace stuff from Red Power and also our anvils, which we probably never used. Maybe used once for the soul shards, that's about it. But I kind of like how the blacksmith turned out. You got a nice little fire, you got some lava, you got some anvils. It's kind of like a blacksmith. It's pretty sweet, I think. I like it. So over here, this is like where the well was for the actual normal village. And I put a fountain here. And I kind of like my fountain. It could have been a lot better. There's many great designs out there. But I designed this. And I like it. So, meh. Why Why does it say meh? So, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, talking crap. And our portal place. So, this is Mistcraft focused. We've got portal to the Twilight Forest. We've got portal to the Nether. And we've got a portal to our... Flat world, which contains our what's it contain? Our quarry. That's it. That's the word. Moving on over here, we have some industrial houses, uh, just some like small industrial places. This had a lot of what is this mug called? Thermal expansion stuff. That's maybe it. A lot of thermal expansion stuff in here. Over here, this was my our laser room to make some like stuff in the assembly table. This is our Foulcraft free stuff. We did quite a few episodes here towards the end. And in this place was our... Big steam boiler. Yes. Part of Railcraft. It's awesome. It generates quite a bit of power. I wanted to generate power in different ways. Because we had... I don't know. Just something different. You know, stick. we have steam power. We have solar power. We have geothermal power. I don't... I'm not just... A solar panel power guy, I actually vary it up a bit. And there's the sapling that never grew. Of course, everyone knows about this thing. This is a, one of the last episodes. Made this Tower of Doom with wither skeletons dropping down. Pretty sweet. Got a lot of wither skulls, a lot of experience. And I like this design. This big, like... I know it's a bit of a sort eyesore in the landscape but I kind of like it and before I look, talk about this I want to do an honourable mention to this temple another early episode we went to the temple took out the TNT yes honourable mention for the temple so now we have the testificate house in which I actually plan to have like a lot more over in the desert which I never got around to doing honourable mention to the cactus farm so, in one of these certificate houses, though, is the many, many... What are you doing? 
You moonwalking. Yeah, in this place we had many, many doors. Basically, many doors makes many certificates breed. So I made many doors in certificate lane number two. Why didn't I make it number one? Who knows? Good few episodes on these houses, actually. Using the blueprints from in the Billcraft to use the architect. I can't remember what it's called. Is it called the architect table or something? But it builds all these houses into the design. We all used to actually have a house over by the bees bits, which was our template. We made our templates over here for the houses and put them into action over here. There was actually three templates because we had our normal woods stuff, we had our like this stuff, and then we had the desert one. Three templates. You probably can find the templates in my chest somewhere. Uh, what else? We mined a lot. Of, we dug a lot of sand off here for glass with our mining laser. Got our river. What else is the show? Oh, I haven't talked about the cinema. Yes, Carnage Cinema. This was a great project. I love this. I've always managed to make a cinema. The roof could have done with more work, but you know, I'm never the best at building. But I kind of like how it turned out. The Carnage Cinema. Got a little arcade. Got a little food area. with well, This is not working for some reason. But we've got a little food area. Ticket system. And you can come in here and watch the movie. Which is always turns out to be Star Wars. Pretty good. I love Carnage Cinema. If you haven't seen the Carnage Cinema short, go and watch it. Oh, I'm turning it into peaceful. Screw you, enemies. Is that Barry? Barry and Paul. Hello. Welcome to the series yet again. Wouldn't be a series without the milkman. Ah, uh, so many memories. This, this was like eight months I'd spent on this series. So, that's probably why. This is the longest I've ever spent on one Minecraft world. So, yeah, that's all that stuff. Well, we're going to move on over here now. So, I did spend an episode on this ticket booth here, which was for the zoo. Basically, you throw your money in there. Let's get something. Uh, get one of these. Pink wire. Throw it in there. And then you get your ticket. Eventually, anyway. Eventually. Or is there no paper left? I guess there's no paper left. But it, once something goes in there, the paper shoots out. And you get your ticket for the zoo. And the zoo. Wouldn't be a zoo without Husky. Screw you, Husky. He survived for so long in this series. Husky's still there. And we also got Colin. Well, was that, I never actually properly finished the zoo. I'd never built like the info desk at the start or the underwater shop but never mind that I mean I could have spent a lot longer on this series just doing random stuff like that but I don't want to drag it out any longer of course the turtle pen we had some problems with the animals like despawning and stuff or getting killed so this is a turtle pen all four of them are still in here and they're pretty massive we've got Penny we've got Aslan we've got Pepe we got Crano, we got Crossin. Pedro turned into another animal. <laughs> we got Jeff, we got Skippy, we got Lucky, and we got the unnamed fairy. Of course, this is where we've done some breeding in here. We've got some more pens here with some snakes. We've got some goats, we've got an elephant, we've got some bloody. what are these called? Ostriches. Of course, what. Got Izzy from season four again. Izzy's like relaxing in a little cat house. And the chocobos. We've done a lot of stuff with the chocobos. It took us ages, but we did get the golden chocobo. There's the golden chocobo. That took a lot of breeding, but we got it. So that was a mission accomplished. So in here we've got Charizard, we've got Riddick, we've got some pandas here. Ah. Oh, Bloody rabbits. Of... And then we got some more Komodo dragons, some more scorpions. Two more places with nothing again. And these are the Twilight Forest animals we actually took to the real world here. Using transformation powder, we got some penguins. Got some 
deers. We've got some boars. They're not boars, they're bighorn sheep. Kind of rams. They're kind of rams, aren't they? And these are the boars. <laughs> and of course, we've got our big aqua area here with some dolphins. I don't know if there's still any small fish in here. No, there is some small fish in here. And of course, I built an underwater area here, which looks a lot nicer if you don't have these old glass textures, but never mind. And this is where the shop was going to be. Never made it. But oh well. So that wraps most things up. Of course, we had our other village, which we bombed in the last episode. The mansion from season 4, which returned. It was episode 100 special, so watch episode 100 if you want to know about this mansion. Pretty awesome. Hi Highlight of this mansion is the pool table in here. I love the pool table. It looks amazing, in my opinion. But yeah, this was episode 100 special. Not really much else to mention, really. I mean, there's the Twilight Forest stuff. I never really built anything there, but we did kill some bosses there. Of course, we went to the end. But yeah, this is, I'm going to wrap this up now. This was the tour. And it's amazing. So, yeah, this is the end. <laughs> I've got no more words. Sad to see this world go. I'm... I'm probably never going to come back to this world again. But moving on, there will be a season 6 one day. I'm still trying to make the adventure pack, but the mods I need are just not updating. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, this isn't the end for Minecraft, but this is the end for Minecraft Season 5. The tour is officially over. I, I probably missed one or two bits, but... Tell me in the comments your best memories of Minecraft Season 5. What episode you like the best. And I will be sure to read all the comments as I usually do. So yeah, tell me your memories of Minecraft Season 5. And I will see you in whatever Minecraft series I do next. I appreciate all the people that's watched this series. And I appreciate all the people that stayed and will watch my next series. So thanks for watching people. And this is the end of season five. Goodbye.